Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of the John Morris Show. So take my Mr. Mom minivan. Now it's only a couple years old, I think uh, 2015, and not even a year into owning it, it suddenly started leaking, which for my wife and I was about the most annoying thing that could have happened because the car that we'd had before that was kind of getting towards the end of its life and started having a bunch of those issues, which is why we got the new one in the first place. So to have it happen, and some of you may have had this happen as well, it's just, it's really annoying because that's why we bought it, to avoid all this nonsense. So I begrudgingly took it to the shop and it turns out that the oil filter housing, I guess, had cracked. So apparently in these models, the housing that they put the oil filter onto is plastic. And so the last place that had done an oil change on it had tightened the oil filter on too tight and it cracked that housing. So I had to take it in and and get it replaced, which never going back to that old place, by the way. But here's the thing about this. I didn't really care. (laughs) I mean, I understood what the guy was telling me and I, I got it, but... I didn't care about the oil filter. I didn't care about the gasket that had to be replaced. I didn't care about the exact torque specification or whatever that the screws or however was supposed to be. I'm totally making stuff up here because I know very little about cars. But I didn't care about any of that stuff. What I cared about is that the damn thing didn't leak. I, I don't care about the transmission or the pistons or the carburetor. Not really. What I care about is that the thing runs and that it gets decent gas mileage and that the DVD players work, which, oh my God, that the DVD players work because on long trips, those things are a lifesaver. Anyway, point here is it's the same with code. Nobody cares about your code. Not really. What they care about is the end result. Now... That doesn't mean that you shouldn't care. Just like a good mechanic cares about the carburetor, cares about the pistons or whatever, cares about that stuff, understands why that stuff is important, you should too. Just don't expect expect your clients or your customers or the people you build stuff for to care. They don't. They might pretend like they do. They might try and you know talk to you because you're talking that language, but they don't ultimately care. So... The question, you you might understand that, and the question you might have is, why worry about this kind of distinction? It's kind of a fine line between the two. Why worry about it that much? Well, because all too often, I see developers out there trying to market themselves or trying to talk to clients by giving them a 10-point dissertation on the inner workings of the carburetor, What I'm, meaning they focus on their code and not the thing that the client or boss ultimately cares about which is the end result. Now, in our particular space, because so many developers tend to talk about the code and geek out on the code, the client base out there has gotten somewhat sophisticated or at least used to talking in those terms because they've had to. I mean, they've accepted the reality of it. But most clients out there are dying for someone to just speak to them like a normal human being, to speak to them in their language and help them to, to understand what's going on instead of going off on these like geeky tirades about you know one line of code and uh, line 1033 or whatever, right? Most clients are dying to be talked, to be spoken to in a way that they understand. So if you do that, you have a huge advantage. So If you want to get freelance gigs or tech jobs easier and be able to talk to and work with clients in a way that they understand and in a way that makes them appreciate you more because you're one of the few that's actually doing with that and which, by the way, will lead to you getting more referrals, more repeat business, or if you're working in a tech business, more promotions, etc., then start thinking about and focusing on the end result that they're after and the language they speak. Not the exact book specification of how much torque the carburetor screws will cry or whatever. If you do that, you'll find that you'll have more influence both 
pre and during and post project with those clients. And the people that you build stuff for will appreciate you more. Now, of course, for you and I, we have to know all those geeky little details because we know that those small things make a huge difference in how the car actually runs in the end result. And that without them, the app or the website or whatever whatever we we're building would suck. It wouldn't run the way it's supposed to. We know that. So that is why I keep harp, harping on this Udemy $10 deal. Now, obviously, you can bl- blow this off, pass on it, miss out on it, do you know, do whatever you want. But it is one great way to learn all of those geeky details and fast track that initial learning curve that's there in web development. So you can get to the point where you're doing this for a living instead of constantly being stuck in a rut of still learning. And the nice thing is, is you can, you can fast track that learning curve for a fraction of the price of what it would normally cost during this $10 deal. So anyway, if that's something that's appealing to you, the link uh, is johnmorrisonline.com slash may. Just keep in mind that this is ending in less than three days. So if you want to take advantage of it, you'll want to do that pretty quick here before it's gone for good. Plus, as I mentioned, I think yesterday, you get lifetime access. So what a lot of people do is just grab a few courses now, five or ten courses, line line them up on the things that they need to learn, get them now while they're cheap, and then they just, as they get to that point in, in their learning, they have the course there waiting for them and they don't have to pay more for it or go try and find it again, etc. So again, you get lifetime access so you can do that. And then once you do that and you become a master ninjutsu jedi kung fu code master then you can be sure to talk to people like a normal human being so that you have more influence you're appreciated more you're able to communicate better and get on the same page with your client you have a better collaborative collaborative relationship and the whole process is just much easier and again that's going to lead for you in in the bottom line wise more referrals, more promotions, more repeat business, etc. All the stuff that is really the lifeblood of, of your business as a web developer. So that'll do it for the episode today. Again, thanks for listening. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe wherever the button happens to be. And we'll talk to you next time.